Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. So as you know, I'm working on feeder uh, in the past months and I have been designing the uh, trimmer feeder and I, so far I've been happy with it. I also get some feedback uh, on how to improve the feeders and I will take in those um, um, suggestions. Um, but as you know, um, when I'm using those feeders, so far I, you see I'm feeding like about 30 uh, feeders in the plate. Um, I've been using it and every time it exposes like uh, 13 to 14 components, which it can pick. But afterwards, then you have to um, advance the tape. I use this uh, T key as I have already designed it. And then you can just rotate it, which is also good. Um, but then I don't really want to um, do this because that means after 13, 14 components, we need to uh, stop the post the job and then we need to adjust for the uh, component has been used out. So um, therefore I have already designed it uh, an auto feeder. This one, this is uh, probably the, the smallest uh, auto feeder I have ever seen. And it has basically the size of 64. Uh, the width is 12 for this one, but including um, everything is 16 uh, millimeters. So, and this is the prototype I have. Um, maybe I should do like this. So what it can do is basically it can do the automatic feeding. I will show you later on uh, on placing the testing board in the back. Uh, so the feature of this one is this auto feeder supports uh, two millimeter. I designed it to support two millimeter and four millimeter pitch. You can support it, you can switch it. And it also uh, supports the charging, and because because of the limiting uh, space, so therefore I designed it that we don't need any wire to basically use this feeder. So it has um, a sensor here. So whenever the um, uh, the nozzle tip comes, then it will know that the nozzle tip is there. Then it will advance the tape automatically, and because. The limiting space, like I mentioned before, and I cannot uh, use a lot of uh, power lines. So this one is actually battery powered. You can see here, this is still the prototype, but there is um, a battery here. Um, the charge, the, you might be concerning about the battery life. So the design of battery life I have is at least for one week. Um, so yeah, uh, this will be um, Pretty handy, so that we can just place in the in the plate, and then leave it there. It will just keep running. After a week, I also designed it a uh, charging, uh, the USB charging port. So basically, you can just plug in, uh, plug in the USB cable, and then it will start charging. And there is also an indicator uh, to show you when the charging is done. Um, right now, you see there is. Um, uh, flashing here that means this is now in setup mode and I also support the two millimeter pitch and the four millimeter pitch mode so what you can do is basically um, you can you can click on the the button here there's a small button then it will switch between the you see this is slow flash that means a four millimeter pitch and if you click you will see the fast flash that means a two millimeter pitch so in this way, um, basically, it will be able to um, support like when you have an O2O1 component, which is a two millimeter pitch, then it will be able to support that. And also, if you want to use it for four millimeter pitch, then you can also um, support it. So this one uses uh, ESP32C3 um, as the, the main chip. It also comes with the uh, Wi-Fi and wireless um, functionality, but so far, um, because of the power consumption, um, so I didn't use the function, but it's also possible uh, to basically use the, the Wi-Fi function, for example, uh, to record down how many, um, how many components has been placed. So there is a lot of uh, functionality that could be um, used with this chip. So um, with this one, yeah, um, I will try to show how does it work. So I will place this one into the um, into the base plate, 
and then I will um, let it start placing. So I before placing, I will set it to setup mode, which is means long press. So you will see it start flashing. Okay, so so you can see I've already placed the auto feeder in position. Um, the next thing I'm gonna do is I will let it place the, my test PCB board, which has uh, twelve auto one components in between, and then um, 04, 206, 06, 03 on the outside, and then I will um, first home the device and then um, calibrate the board position and the uh, nozzle tip, and then I will start the placement job. So you can see now the uh, device is homing. Okay, so it's now looking at the home fiducia and which looks good. Uh, the second step is basically um, let it calibrate the ball position. Actually, it's uh, pretty handy um, after I build in this uh, circle lighting and it identifies the fiducia really smooth. And I just look at the... Okay, so this is the O201 components, which looks good. Um, the next thing is I need to reset the calibration so that it will uh, calibrate the nozzle tip in the beginning and as for the feeder, uh, I have set up the feeder here you can see uh, it's looking at the position but um, there is a bit, little bit off of the position but that's okay because every starting of the job it will recalibrate the uh, location based on the holes here so um, then I also un un set this um, auto one component to uh, not replace, not placed, and then now we can start the job. So you can see first go to calibrate the nozzle tip. I really like the feature so that uh, when you start calibrating, it turn off the um, top camera lighting automatically, mm -hmm. which is uh, really good. And now it's actually doing the calibration of the um, feeder. So it's uh, actually picking up the components, as you can see. Yeah, and then start the placement job. So if you look closely, um, whenever the second uh, placement, it will then automatically advance the tape. And there is also a feedback system so that the advancement will be um, really accurate. So you don't have to uh, calibrate every time for the position. It will just keep going and going. So currently in the program, I support two modes. One is the two millimeter pitch mode. And the other is a 4mm ones. And I also program in a, um, a setup mode so that um, it doesn't, it, 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 will, it will not, um, during setup, um, it will not advance the tape. So this is just for uh, convenience. And because of this is uh, a battery powered, so the power consumption is really important. Um, Currently, I have already run it for two days, um, but the, I'm on, only using the light sleep mode, and it's not really heavily optimized. My goal is basically to, um, uh, for one charge, uh, the usage should be at least one week. Therefore, it, you don't have to uh, keep changing the, um, let's say, the, to keep charging the battery and loading and loading. So. And you can see I've already mounted uh, like um, more than 30 feeders here. Um, I think I'll keep improving this um, auto feeder so that it makes it 
easy to also um, fit a lot of uh, auto feeder here. So you can see here the tape actually advances for the second pick. And of course the, the chip is, uh, okay now we finished the placement, so we can uh, actually have a look. which looks good uh, because I'm using the lighting here so it's a little bit uh, too light um, let me just put it to the camera mode so we can use the camera to observe so you can see I need to adjust okay so you can see here those are the O201 components uh, in here. You can see they actually been placed nicely, um, which I'm also very happy for the for the result. Uh, but of course, to achieve this one, the uh, proper calibration um, will be required. And here is the um, auto feeder. You can see the actually the components are inside, um, staying inside uh, cor correctly. So yes, so this is uh, basically the auto feeder. Uh, probably the smallest uh, auto feeder I have ever seen. Um, so I will keep optimize this one as I said. Uh, to make the usage uh, higher actually it's also possible because right now I'm only using the 230 milliamp hour uh, battery which is quite small uh, but I will use I will make it if we put a bigger one then the time usage might be even longer so yeah this is the latest development it's still in prototyping phase um, yeah but I will keep improving it so if you see, if you like my video, if you like this auto feeder, if you have any idea thoughts, just uh, let me know or leave a comment. And uh, yeah, I will uh, really happy to um, discuss whatever the improvement that can be. So thank you very much. Um, don't forget to subscribe my channel and to get the latest update. So see you in next video.